Here at Microsoft, we have, shall we say, an abundance of SharePoint sites. And I suspect and hope your organization does as well. Our corporate intranet runs on SharePoint, and we have team sites, departmental sites, document libraries, project management sites, and of course, the newest addition, communication sites, which I covered in last August's update video. If you've ever wished for an easy way to organize your SharePoint sites in an intuitive, logical way, I've got good news. In mid-March, Microsoft began rolling out hub sites to targeted release customers in Office 365. SharePoint hub sites enable you to bring together associated sites into a single hub. The hub enhances discovery and user engagement while creating a consistent look and feel to your project, department, or region. For example, an HR SharePoint hub site can link and aggregate content from SharePoint sites dedicated to new hires, employee benefits, and recognition. A regional SharePoint hub can contain content from local team sites, communication sites, and project sites. Bringing associated sites into a single hub has several benefits, including scope search, which enables you to focus on finding content that resides within the hub's associated sites, content roll-up, so you can read news and announcements across related sites in one spot, and easier cross-site navigation, which allows you to quickly get to related sites from the hub rather than going to each one individually. Hub sites improve governance, giving admins a growth framework to maintain relationships between sites over time. And when managing change within the business, it's easy to move a SharePoint site from one hub to another. To learn more about this great new capability, read the SharePoint community blog post I link to in the transcript and resources document. Remember, hub sites are rolling out to targeted release customers in Office 365. So I'll keep you posted when it becomes generally available.